Okay, it's flaming, showering yawn, and if you like what you see, then please subscribe to me. I'm in the building. building, building. Yo, what is going on, guys? And welcome back to Secure Made 2. Let's jump right into it, guys. In her guest bedroom, the alchemy set, as she described, it has been set up. A number of strange colored liquids have been stored in vials and are being pumped through glass tubes. It sounds like a lot more than alchemy going on in here. It looks rather incredible, doesn't it? Why yes, I have not seen anything like it before. Just make sure not to touch it, okay? Otherwise, any number of strange things could happen. What kind of strange things? Nothing you probably haven't seen before. As true as that is, guys. That's very true. I have a particular formula... For, ugh, get it together, man! I have a particular formula you might like. Not Krabby Patties. She pulls out a vial with a cork firmly lodged in its top. Do you enjoy the erotic plants in your master's garden? I want to see this answer. Well, I cannot say they I cannot say they have given me unpleasant experiences. Then you should try this. Oh, there goes that cheeky smile. Let me know what you think. You you want me to try this in private? What do I do with it? Just uncork it. And the rest will do itself. Do itself. I said, do itself. Oh my. What kind of strange substance has she given me? Could it be marijuana? Crack? Cocaine? Heroin? But Master said I should assist her with experiments. Very well. I bow before her. I will go try it out for you. Very well. I leave her room and go back down the hall, clutching the vial. Whatever could be inside this vial, some part of me doesn't want to uncork it, another part is filled with a desire which I cannot quite describe. I Trojan, I Trojan, I've chosen a secluded part of the manor. Well. Shall I open this and see what happens? Here goes nothing. Oh, okay, I guess I can't. Patreon exclusive tier. Also, I guess if I didn't support them on Patreon, I can't open it. Well, that sucks, guys. We're going to miss out on a CG. Oh, that's very unfortunate, so I guess don't open it. I do not know what this is, so I can't help but be a bit worried about it. Perhaps it would be better to simply put it aside and come back to it later. Yes, that would be better. Okay, so maybe it'll do it by itself. Maybe. Now then, moving on from that. Oh, we're back in the master's bedroom again. There's a lot of weird things going on in here. Freaking crystal ball, an octopus candle, Egyptian Yu-Gi-Oh pyramid. It's a lot going on in here, guys. I have decided to give Master's Bedroom another check. There's not a lot of airflow in this room, so a lot of dust seems to settle in here. Another light dust should do it wonders, I think. Now then, where are you hiding? There's only a little bit of dust in the room, thankfully. This is definitely one the one place where Master will notice the difference. So I will check, check, and double check to make sure it's to her specifications. Hmm. Best not touch the Master's curious. Hey, what is this room? She suddenly appears out of nowhere again. Oh my, this is my Master's bedroom. I'm sorry, but you can't stay in here. Oh dear, 
I left the drawer the way it's been before I came in here. Whatever is in the drawer, it's nothing. You need not to concern yourself with that. You sound like you're really desperate to hide it. Could it be that you know what's in there? <laughs> I, I would not do something so unprofessional. My pride as a maid forbids me from looking where I shouldn't. You did look, didn't you? I know it. E enough! You're not supposed to be in here. I begin pushing her out of the door. Aw, oh, come on. I want to see. There, There's nothing to see. She gives up and we leave the room. Oh, wow, that was pretty simple. Oh, look, she done pissed her off. You are Master's guest, but please do not invade her privacy. I understand. Sorry. But the way you got really flustered there was really cute. <laughs> e enough of that. You are making me very cross with you. Even your frown is cute. <laughs> Turn that frown upside down. She looks at me with strange eyes. What is it that fills her gaze? You know, actually, it's nothing. Well, if it is nothing, then suppose I return to my duties. I bow before her. Please be respectful of Master's privacy in the meantime. Yes, if you do not mind, I will be returning to the garden to collect some more samples. Please be careful then. The two of us take our leave. While Master said that I had to accommodate her, I cannot have her finding out about Master's collection. After all, there are certain things that a lady should never reveal about herself. Master has a bad habit of appearing out of nowhere, but I think this mage might just be the master of that habit. Yeah, really. Alas, I suppose you do not gain such a fascination for her line of work without a little bit of curiosity. I had better keep an eye on Master's bedchamber and ensure that nothing is disturbed. Whatever would Master think if her curious were damaged in some way? No, no, do not get depressed. Getting gloomy will not change anything. I just have to do my best as I always do. All right. What should I busy myself with lately? All of the main rooms have been cleaned. Master's room was cleaned enough from what I saw. And without Master around, there's not a steady stream of plates and silverware to clean up. Hmm. There isn't much else to do at all. This is probably the first time this has happened in months. Oh well, maybe I will give the floors a bit of a polish. After polishing the floor again, I cannot help but let out a bored sigh. Normally, it is such a challenge to get everything done. But it seems I have outdone myself. Oh dear, what am I going to do now? There is always work for a maid somehow, somewhere, someone, isn't there? Think, think! I idly glance at the clock. Oh, it's nearly afternoon tea time. It's been a bit of a stressful day. So a quick breather is just what I need. Although our guest has been a bit of a handful. I suppose I had best offer her some afternoon tea as well. More scones today? With black tea and scones? It will be served with jammed strawberries as well. Sounds really good. This should be quite a delicious little tea time. Walking out with my tray, I see the maids bending over and peering at a tiny sapling. Whatever could you be? She's bent right over, completely oblivious to how her robes are clinging to her form. <laughs> and of course we get flustered. For a moment, I almost forget that I'm holding onto a tray and lose myself in the sight. Oh my, 
she is certainly a very gifted woman. Gifted or blessed? I get a firmer grip on the tray and clear my throat. <clears> throat> Afternoon tea is ready. If you would like to join me. Are those scones? Her eyes light up when she sees them. They most certainly are. I would love to. We take a seat and enjoy some hot tea together. She eagerly tears into the scones, enjoying every single bite. I only hope that she leaves enough for the both of us. These are amazing. Did you make them yourself? That is right. My duties include cooking meals and baking treats. Scones are one of my favorite things to bake, let alone the only thing I know how to bake. I am reminded that this woman is still Master's guest. She is curious, sure, but I cannot stay mad at her for it. Yes, it would be the, it would be best to make sure things remain peaceful around here. Do you know when your Master will be back? I cannot say. Sorry. She has many appointments and often leaves home. Sometimes, she does not even leave a note, so I cannot tell you when she will be back. Sorry, I guess I'm becoming a bit impatient. She's tapping her foot on the ground. There is so much that we need to talk about. She is always surrounded by people and it's hard to get close to her. I was so surprised that she chose to invite me out here. I thought, finally. A chance to really speak with her, but she's nowhere to be seen. It is unfortunate, but it is simply how Master is. This may strike me as the sort of woman who cannot stand waiting. I can just tell how impatient she is just by, uh, just by sitting around her. Alas, I cannot do anything to change the fact that Master is away. What I can do in the meantime is try and keep her occupied. So how exactly did my master become your patron? What did you t where did you two meet? Well, I'm part of an association of sorts. I cannot name any names, but it's an association of magicians. Your master is a patron. Is a patron. I keep saying patron. Your master is a patron who regularly takes prodigies under her wing. And she picked me. I cannot possibly understand why she did, but she chose me out of the many promising students there. She just shrugs. Well, perhaps she sees something in me that I do not. Master is like that. She can see the potential in other people even when they cannot see it in themselves. The mage looks at me again. Pardon me, is there something wrong? I was just reflecting on how true your words were. Anyway, the woodlands around here contain a lot of unusual species too. Your master has certainly chosen an amazing place to live. Everything around here seems to converge to this point. She, she seems to muse herself a lot. But as she continues speaking, I cannot help but let my gaze settle somewhere other than her face. Oh dear, am I really having such lustful thoughts about a guest of our household? Oh dear, Master, whatever would you think of me? I truly am a naughty maid. Hey, are you there? Oh right, sorry. I was just thinking at your breast. I drifted into my own thoughts for a moment. And then she turns around this way so we can see her ass. <laughs> it's no problem. I do it a lot myself. Both of us reach for the last scone and our fingers slip over one another's. It becomes really awkward for a moment. Oh my. As the guest of the household, you may have the last scone. No, no, it's because I'm your guest that you should have the last scone. No, really, you should have it. I really need to get a better chair, guys. This freaking thing hurts my back. I need to get one of those little uh, professional gaming chairs. 
no really you should have it but i must insist that you have it how about i have it as in me not you not you but me i love scones it's then that i noticed neither of us have moved our hands i can hear her breathing becoming heavier too oh dear oh dear what should i do in this situation she's starting to look deep into my eyes am am i reading the atmosphere right I pulled my hand away and let her take the scone. Sorry, but I must get back to work. I am sure we can share scones and tea another time. Right, sorry. But she still has a look on her face. Whatever should I do? I bow before her and walk away. All right, guys. I think this is a very good part to end the episode here. Find out next time what happens between these two. I have a feeling things are very, things are very, things are about to get very, very lewd. Very fast. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to smash that like button. If you guys are new, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn that red box clear for me. Put a check mark next to that. I would truly appreciate it. I'm Flaming Shine God. You guys are awesome. And that's my time.